Hello everyone and welcome back to day 35 of 100 videos about SEO. Today I'm going to be talking about why you need to keep your URL structure very short but very well organized. Now I'm going to share with you first why you need to keep your URL structure uh, short and optimized and concise, but also how to go about organizing a URL structure in a way that it will make sense for your business, whether you're a larger business or you are a smaller business, a smaller website. So first of all, URLs are one of the first things that Google reads and other major search engines read when they are inspecting your website, when they are trying to understand what content you're creating, what you're talking about, and what searches it should be relevant for. So Understanding that URL structure is like the prime real estate, is the triple A prime real estate of your SEO on your website. You shouldn't overlook your URL uh, build. You shouldn't overlook how your URL on your website, on your different content are built. So for this, I'm gonna share with you a few very simple, basic, pragmatic tips. First of all, is remove any excess words from your URLs, like and, the, them, um, I, me, you, uh, why, numbers, anything like that, remove it. Keep your URLs really specific to the focus term or the focus intent of the content on that page. Now, this isn't always the case for when you are creating informational pages like your product pages or your solutions. But if you're an e-commerce or you're a business that gets a lot of traffic from your blog, which is probably your my primary source of organic traffic, keep your URLs short and to the point. Keep them concise. Remove any excess words and focus on on the keyword or the focus term for that page. Now, the second thing is to make sure that you have the right framework. Now, this means that your website should follow a pattern with sitemaps for each different section of your website. Now, what is a sitemap? A sitemap is a place where all of your URLs are listed and it's a way that Google can then automatically crawl and understand if there are any changes and then identify those changes to provide an updated result in the search engines, the same as most major search engines. Now, when you create a URL, URL framework, you need to understand, well, okay, what pages are going to be archive pages? What pages are going to be templates? And how am I then going to scale those, the production of content or those pages? Now, when that happens, that is the ideal time to organize your site so that your URL structure has a very common build. So when you build your website, you can then analyze the necessary sitemaps you need uh, to create a nice, thorough URL framework. Now, one of the things I recommend if you're a solution business, you might have all of your solutions, say the name of your website.com forward slash solution, and then the name of your solution after. Now, you can repeat that for all the different areas in your website. Having a clean URL framework helps Google and other site search engines identify what is important on that page and what keyword it should rank for. Now, there are obviously other many SEO elements on that within the uh, optimization of the page, but the URL is so important. Keep your URLs really specific, really contextually sensitive to the topic on that page and strip out any unnecessary words, any yes, no, uh, any nouns, any adjectives, like those types of things aren't generally keyword friendly. Try to keep them your URLs focused towards the keyword or the intent of that page. Now, how you can keep your URL builder, how you can create a URL builder is very simple. First thing I'd do is I'd head over to your sitemap. Um, generally, it'll be the name of your website and then forward slash sitemap uh, dot XML, but it's going to depend on the sitemap builder you have on your backend, whether you're a WordPress website or uh, a different type of builder. Now, I would export that and copy all of those links into a database. Then I would create a builder for each URL. So for your blogs, for your solutions, for your case studies, all of these pages, just create a very simple Excel file where you list all of your URLs all on the site. Now this means that your your team can automatically reference that and know if a URL has already been taken or they can search the keyword and see all of the relevant URLs. Now, there are some plugins in WordPress that will let you do this in WordPress to not have like a secondary file or secondary location like an Excel or a Google Sheet, but it's a really easy way. Just create a tab for each section of your page of your website with each page logged in it. And then every time you create a new URL, all you do is simply head over there test if the URL has already been created, search the keyword. And if you find that a URL has already been created, 
you can quickly change it up and uh, make the modifications necessary. This is a simple way that you can keep your URLs really clean, keep them very visual for Google and other search engines, and most importantly, have a right site structure so that your content can rank in the search engines. I hope you found this uh, video insightful, and if you have any ideas or any content you'd like me to create, just drop something in the comment and I will try to create a piece of content. I'm on a sprint to do 100 videos. I don't know when I'm going to finish this. I'm doing my best to get this. Uh, they do create these videos, make sure they're insightful, make sure they're informative, and make, sh make sure they're valuable for the audience. So if you find these interesting, please help and support me by subscribing um, or hitting a like or sharing this with someone you might know could be interested. So I'll see you on the next video. And up until then, thank you 